Claire Huxtable. <gasps> she was happened? she was up to y'all. I just girl, stop. <laughs> Like, you know, I'm um, Claire. <laughs> oh, Cliff. Girl, say what you're saying. So we have a lot to get into uh, within this video. And, um, you know, I'm not going to lie. It just seems that Kiki is getting a little bit ahead of herself these days. And this is like the biggest sign. Um, and the reason why I say that is because we're, you know, especially in that era when the Cosby show came out, you know, they were like the, the example, they were like the, the, the literal example of like a, a black excellence family. She, I believe, was a lawyer in the show. Um, Bill Cosby was a doctor. They had kids. They sent their kids to college. You know, they talked about real life issues. They were in like the upper class of society and they were very real and authentic and um, uh, in, not only in what they were doing, but also, interestingly enough, the women of today who talk about, you know, 50-50, who talk about, you know, a woman that can go work and get the bag and still, you know, get it all done and has a relationship with her husband and is a great mom, a woman who can do it all. That is exactly what Claire Hux Huxtable um, was the example of. Okay, a woman that had her career, that had her family, had her husband, was, was there to parent her children, was there to be a good wife to her husband. He was the head of the household. She said, you know, whatever he says goes, that's it. He is the law. And to, you know, ironically, to be a black woman and then to make such a statement and say that, you know, Claire Hubsable is quote unquote uppity, you know, she doing too much. Oh, girl, just say what you're saying. Get it out already. Why are you talking like that? Why are you moving like that? To such a great role model of a woman. It's ironic that, you know, as a black woman, you can be talking and you're, it's like you're unaware to the fact that black people are multifaceted. We are not one size fits all. Not because you articulate yourself in a certain manner means that you are any less black <laughs> or any less down for the culture because of the way that you communicate or the way that you carry yourself. It's not about the all the, you know, the Ebonics and being like, you know, down to earth and, and, and talking in a certain manner and, you know, getting in the mud with you. It, it's not all about that. Not because somebody articulates themselves in a certain manner means that they are not able to also do so. Be down and switch up and switch up the lingo. But it dawned on me that if you are able to look at her in this light, and there were a lot of people who looked at Kiki as well in a certain light. They expected certain things from her. They expected a certain, uh, you know, wardrobe from her, a certain attitude from her, a certain demeanor from her based on her being a Keela in the B. If they are looking at her in such a light, but in the same vein of a woman who we would similarly look at you and that you could fit into a certain puppet. Uh, pocket if you are looking at this woman and now calling her uppity and although you're saying this quote unquote in jest although we know you're serious if you can uh you know talk about this certain role model in this light then that says a lot it means that the expectations that are had we no longer need to have Because this uh, fictional character of Claire Huxtable, which, you know, me too, I'm going to take that personal, okay? Because I love Claire Huxtable. I spent a, a lot of time watching that show, enjoying the show, and I love the dynamic. I love everything that she exuded, her femininity, her poise, her elegance, her class. It was a beautiful representation of uh, the black family unit. 
It was seeing the black family unit in, in a way that a lot of people thought was not possible. A lot of people had us all characterized in one certain demographic. We only act one way. We only talk one way. We only speak one way. We don't know how to articulate ourselves. We this, we that. And it showed on national television for ages. Again, how multifaceted we were. We are. I say were because in that time, you know, we, we saw a very specific, uh, you know, Sanford and Son, Good Times. You know, uh, uh, we eventually saw the Jeffersons. But I, I think that, you know, again, it's very telling. You know, people, people could say like, oh, well, you know, just because she feels that way about her doesn't mean anything. But we have to be honest. The way that you view certain things says a lot about you. The way that you handle certain things, the way that you your viewpoint is or, or, or your, um, you know, choice of using uh, negativity to explain something or to, you know, downplay being uppity. Oh, she was just she was just too much. She was just doing too much. She understood um, the importance of representing her culture in a certain way. That's to be applauded. She couldn't have been uppity enough. <laughs> and this is the point, right? I think I made this statement before. And, and, you know, I was saying that people get so upset. They're like, oh, you know, you know, you talk about people like Sierra and people like Kiki Palmer and stuff like that. Like, you know, you need to give people grace and da, da, da. And the, the, the thing is, we don't hold everybody to that standard. You do not see me calling, uh, you know, certain people's name and trying to hold them to a quote unquote higher standard. No, because once you show us who you are, we know. But you see, when we see that little twinkle in you, like you might be, you know, carrying yourself in a certain way. You might portray yourself in a certain light. We haven't seen you, you know, go crazy or act a fool. We love that representation. So if we see you as something and we know you as something and now you're going down and trying to, you know, hang out with, with the ratchets and trying to change yourself to be accepted in that way instead of being who you are and standing in it, we are going to call you out because of the example that you set for younger women who are looking up at you. It's a responsibility. And the people who are looking at you and who are looking at, you know, the example that you were setting, even for maybe their children, their nieces, their cousins. We are going to look at you. We are going to set you apart. But again, in getting ahead of yourself, it's just my opinion. When you say something like this about, again, the exemplary woman that Claire Huxtable stands for. And I, and I believe even in this clip, she was talking about how she more related to or more, you know, like like Florida Evans and other people because they were, quote unquote, like more down to earth. All of these women are multifaceted women. Who are very important to the culture because they represented certain, again, certain areas and certain demographics of people who existed, who let the world know that we are not just one track. It's not just about, you know, living in poverty and trying to move on up. This was very telling. Okay, when I saw this, this was very telling. But also, I'm going to move on to the next video uh, that we had to talk about in the next clip. So, um, recently, okay, it has been brought to my attention by a great portion of my subscribers in my Instagram DM that Kiki Palmer is uh, the star of... Usher's newest music video titled Boyfriend. So immediately, you know, I got a lot of DMs of people telling me like, oh, you know, have you seen this? We want to hear your reaction. We want to know how you feel about it. And I never even heard about it. I didn't see the video. I was not on social media. I was not paying it any mind. Okay, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. 
But after I started seeing these DMs come in, I, I thought initially, if they're saying Kiki Palmer and Usher, it must be the same situation. I had no idea that there was an entirely new situation that occurred uh, that could have been worse than the initial situation that took place. I just couldn't fathom. Okay, I could not fathom that there could be a situation that could happen that could be possibly worse than the initial situation of, you know, her going out there and being serenaded and singing all over, you know, Usher, you know, them hugging up and all of that. I didn't I didn't think it could be worse than that. However, it did. In my opinion, this is an example of uh, being loud and wrong. Not only did uh, the, the, your child's father come out and say that he did not approve of the certain, you know, their clothing that you had on when you went out to this show and also, you know, you being rubbed upon this man. But now you made a mockery of your man. Okay, I don't know if they're still together, but you made a mockery of the person that you chose to start a family with. And you did what most men uh, would deem as uh, the ultimate form of disrespect. You put another man higher than your man. And this is what I don't get, right? This is what I don't get. You see, when when women are... You know, they're so quick to be unbothered after a relationship. You know, they're so quick to, you know, two-step it to the left and be like, I don't care about you. You know, they either go back to the streets, they be dancing on the handstand, like we've seen uh, the R&B singer that's in the club doing right now because she done broke up with her, her boyfriend. Okay, they're so quick to go back to the streets. To me, that just says more about you and your character. Because you guys are sidestepping. Oh, yeah, you know, he telling me about myself. You know, I don't care who he think he is. He can't tell me what to do. You know, if I'm a fan of Usher, I'm going to be a fan. And now I'm going to start in a music video titled Boyfriend that is about a secret love affair between a woman and a man. And, oh, you know, ooh, you know, I got your man mad. Ooh, you know, it's an, it's an ego thing now. And you're going to be the star of the video. What's again, what's mind boggling is that you're so quick to put your respect for somebody else in front of the respect that you have for this man that you chose to procreate with. So let's backtrack. If you're so quick to sidestep, if you're so quick to, uh, again, uh, publicly shame this person in front of the world to see, if you're so quick to not have his back, if you're so quick to not support this man. Why were you so quick to procreate with him? This is where I'm confused at. This is the person who is going to be there to support you, to have your back, who is going to, uh, you know, in, in, especially in the realm of raising a child. The relationship can fade. Y'all can be over with. But this is the person that you are going to be co-parenting your child with for the rest of your child's life. Not Usher. Not not uh, all these women that are coming in supporting you. Because he's not a baby daddy. You know, we're so quick to have this whole, you know, mindset. Oh, you know, I'm a woman. I can do bad all by myself. You know, I'm independent. I'm strong. I'm this. I'm that. Nobody can't hold me down. Nobody can't tame me. Like, we're so, you know, so, uh, I don't even know what, it, what, what the word would be, but we're, like, so used to a woman. You know, I could do better by myself. I raised my child alone. I don't need you. We're so used to that mindset. But have we ever stopped to think of how selfish that mindset is, especially when children are involved? Have you ever thought that maybe one day that child might grow up to see this situation happening and they did not see their mother stand in the gap and respect their father? They saw her to continuously humiliate this man because he had a standard that you don't agree with. 
I'm not seeing this man now coming out here and, you know, cursing her out or calling her out her name or, you know, doing all doing the most and dragging her, doing like 50 interviews back to back. I haven't seen him do not one. Only thing we've seen him do is type something on Twitter. I haven't seen him do anything or say anything that was like diminishing to her character or making her feel like she's beneath them. I haven't seen any of those things. This man, he, you know, in his, in his message, he said, like, you're a mother. You know, the way that you're dressed, the way that you're behaving yourself, I don't agree with that. You're the mother of my child. You're the person I'm in a relationship with. I don't find it cool. Obviously, he didn't know what the outfit was. He was shocked just like everybody else was. And then in the ending of this music video, she's using those same words and winking to the camera like, ha, he can't hold me down who he think he is. This is distasteful. You took the power that your man is supposed to have, whether you're with him or not. Okay? Let's just leave the respect that you have that child with this person. And it is as amicable as it can be. You took all the respect that was meant for this man that you procreated with, that you laid down and had a child with. And you took his crown off and you put the crown on top of Usher head. I respect you more than him. Oh, you know, I got in trouble with you. I'm going to be the star of the music video and we're going to have fun with it. And I'm going to I'm gonna make the comments that he said and I'm going to bring this publicity for you. Regardless of how it's going to make him feel, regardless of what other people are going to say, regardless of the fact that I am opening up the gates for people to now communicate with him or disrespect him. Based on my actions in this music video, I'm going to do it anyway because I could do whatever I want to do and can't nobody tell me because, you know, I'm bad all by myself. It's embarrassing. It's not cute. And most of the women who are supporting it, who are loving it, who think it's cute, who think it's funny, most of these women are either bitter or don't have a man. I'm just going to be honest. Or they're in a relationship where they are leading the man that they're with. Sometimes they're leading him right out the door. These are happy wife, happy life women who are supporting this. I think it's very distasteful. Again, it was already bad and not so bad. Okay, cool. Y'all had your situation. He had his mindset. He came to a public platform and he said something because he wanted the world to know, I don't like the way that you're representing me. Because as my woman, you represent me and I don't like it. And I don't like the fact that you're, you know, hugged up or too close being serenaded by this man when you just had a child with me. I don't think it's cool. Okay, cool. Whatever. Now there's a song about creeping and the boyfriend getting mad and you the star. What the heck? <laughs> How that make sense? Nobody can convince me that like, oh, you know, it's just for this or it's just, oh, she's an actress. Oh, this is just, you know, this is just for her playing homage you know her paying homage to usher because he's a listen nobody has negated that usher is not a, a great musician he got hits upon hits upon hits we are, who don't love usher's music i don't know nobody personally who does not like his music this is not about that this is about when you take uh the respect again that you have for your man and you you ball it up and throw it in the trash and you give that same respect to another man in front of him. It can't be applauded in my book. It's my opinion. This is my personal opinion. Okay. I do not know these people personally. I'm going off of the same thing that we don't see on social media. And this is my take. Let me know in the comment sections if you agree with me. If you don't agree with me. If you, do, if you agree with you know what Kiki's doing. Let me know. Okay, let me know in the comment section. I'm down to hear you guys' opinions in the comment section down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.